Sneaking through the Columbia campus at night isn't how I envisioned coming back here. Keypad locks, those are new. Hello? Looks like the coast is clear. Well, we've learned one thing by coming here. Jamie's a slob. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I can't make heads or tails of it. I have no idea what this thing is. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish? Seriously, Epileptic Fish. I know what this is. It's a cassette player. I think it replaced the 8-track not too long ago. Those are some fearsome looking shoes. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. I have no idea what this thing is. It says, Remember Waterloo. There's a keypad on this door. Pretty typical for a college kid, I guess. Random knickknacks and boxes of cosmetics, nothing important. Joey, get in here. What? This looks like a class schedule. I recognize a bunch of the course codes from when I studied here. You remember that after all this time? It wasn't that long ago. If you say so. Let's see. She's mostly taking English and history classes. Uh-huh. Now this is interesting. She's taking the same writing class that I did. That's interesting. Well, it is to me. She's even got the same professor. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish. I've heard of those guys. I'm not sure they play together anymore. This is really old. It's got a cassette player and everything. Does anyone listen to cassette tapes anymore? It must be something she had as a child. Ouch. Those heels look like they'd hurt. It's full of makeup. Nail polish, eyeliner, hairspray. I guess that's college for you. Is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around 10 years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. I saw you had a book published. Is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. I did? The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh god, I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie Graham. Oh, her, yes. So tragic what happened. Tragic? You mean you don't know? She died just last week. I... no. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over when she showed up at all. And as for what she was wearing, well, let's just say it wasn't appropriate. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history. 
so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember you being a bit closed off once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. And Jamie went there? She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. Really? That's what the police said anyway. Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? Hmm, no. I don't know anyone with that name. Do you ever go up to the High Line? It's gorgeous, isn't it? My husband and I went for a walk there last summer. But you haven't been back since. No, we haven't. Why? Oh, no reason. Have you ever heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. Is there anything else you could tell me about Jamie? If there's anything specific you'd like to know, just ask. That's who I'm talking to right now. So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. I should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. Durkin. Hi, it's Rose Angela Blackwell. Remember me? Yeah, what do you want? I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. You get around, don't you? I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. What the hell? I need a cup of coffee anyway. You know a place in Alphabet City called Cup of Clay? I've been there. Detective Durkin? Oh, it's you. So, what can I do for you? So, any progress on Jeremy? Look, you helped us out on the ID, but don't push it. You know about as much as I do. So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? The body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Natural or not, how did the body get in there? A dumpster? So it was murder? I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room. Some kind of VIP area. One minute, dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody saw how she died, just that she was dead. Anyway, the bouncer saw it and freaked, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like I said, cut and dry. Case closed. This club where Jamie died. It was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. Well, bye. See ya.
$20 cover for this dump, you got robbed. What? I said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. Well, yes, kind of. Ah, just forget it. They look pretty engrossed, whoever they are. Looks like it goes to an upstairs lounge. Looks like some kind of flat screen panel. He looks drunk, whoever he is. He's just leaning against the wall. These are placed all over the club. I can't read the labels, but it looks like decent stuff to me. Looks like the bartender. Excuse me, could I ask? Hello? Ow, hey, watch the arm. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. She seems like a decent enough kid. Jamie? You're Jamie Graham, aren't you? Do I know you? Sure. You go to Columbia, right? I think I've seen you around there. Aren't you a bit old to be hanging around a college campus? I'm a late bloomer. Is that right? Anyway, I'm Joey. Uh-huh. Are you alone here tonight? That's a crime. Whatever. I'm here with friends. Friends, huh? They'll be here any minute. Well, in the meantime, how about we get to know each other? How about not? Interesting music, huh? It's all right. You come here often? Don't think I've seen you before. Maybe you have, but I know I've never seen you. Hey? I wouldn't forget a Rat Pack reject like you. What's up with that, anyway? Reject? I'll have you know this fabric is top of the line. Look at me, I'm impressed. So, how about a drink? No thanks. Come on, just one drink and a conversation. If you still don't like me, you can dump it on me. Deal? Don't tempt me. Are you even old enough to be in here? Sure I am. I've got the best ID money can buy. Care to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. So, what brings you here? It's a place to go, right? It's a place, I'll give it that. I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just trust me. Does this line actually work? Come to think of it, no. It never does. Why are you being like this? You barely know me. Please. I've already got a dog back home. Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. His name is Benji. You'd like him. You've got a lot in common. I've got a scram, but, uh... Don't you go anywhere. I make no promises.
Hi. Hi? I can't just chat with some stranger. Not here, anyway. Are you Seb? Hmm? I said, are you Seb? Yeah, I heard. Do I know you? No, but we have a mutual friend. Really? Who? Jamie. Jamie Graham. Sorry. Don't know her. I read the email you wrote to Jamie. That was private. Sorry, I know. It couldn't be helped. <sighs> so, what do you want? I'm trying to learn about her. I'll save you the trouble. She was a drug addict, a dropout, and a tease. Then she spun out of control. Do you want to go somewhere more quiet? It's kind of loud in here. I don't want to talk anyway, so I'll stay right here. You here alone? Yeah, and I like it that way. She was a drug addict. Yeah, big time. She kept trying to get me on the stuff. Called me boring. Boring, right. At least I'm not dead. She dropped out of school. Not yet, but she stopped going to class. She was going to drop out or get kicked out. One or the other. Why was Jamie a tease? No reason. Forget it. Why do you come here? It doesn't seem like your kind of place. You want to talk. I'm here on business. Kind of. So why are you here? I don't know. Does it matter? I just am. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? No. Do you ever go to the High Line? No. Did Jamie ever mention the name Gavin? No. Were you dating Jamie Long? Does it matter? I guess not. Did you know Jamie's professor, Elaine Appleton? She talked about her sometimes, but I don't know. So, you come here a lot? No, yes, I don't know. Whatever. So, Jamie was a drug addict? Not that it's any of your business, but yeah. Always bragging about getting high on E every night, and she was proud of it. She tried to get me on the stuff, said I needed to loosen up. Look where it got her. Well, I have to go. Later. Hi, Detective Durkin? Yeah. How are you sure she wasn't murdered? We have this thing called a coroner's report. Right. What did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel burst? It happens. One thing's for sure. It was no murder. Just rotten luck. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important. Why? I don't know. Could I see it? You do owe me. I don't know about that, but you certainly do get around. Look, I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You might be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're alright. Thanks. Don't thank me. You owe me now. You got a phone? Yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. Well, bye. See ya. Hey, check it out. I got a message from Durkin. Uh-huh. Hmm, now this is interesting. Seb said that Jamie was a drug addict, but her blood work came back clean. Something's not right here. Hi again. Hmm? Seb, you told me that Jamie was on drugs a lot, but Jamie never used drugs. What do you mean? I spoke to a cop. He saw the autopsy report. She was completely clean. It's impossible. She was always talking about ecstasy, trying to get me on it. If she took anything, it wasn't stronger than cough medicine. I don't believe this. I've got the report right here. Sort of. Do you want the cop's number? No, I don't want his number. 
Why would she lie about something like that? That's crazy. You know her better than I do. Yeah, maybe I did. She wanted to be interesting. She always thought she was boring. But she wasn't. She was fantastic. She read Robert Ashbless, for God's sake. How many girls read Ashbless? I've read Ashbless. She wanted to live, she said. Feel alive. She was kidding herself. Told everyone she was taking drugs, not having the guts to really do it. Stupid, stupid girl. I honestly thought that she and I... God, look at me. What the hell am I doing here? Is this me now? Falling her ghost around like some lovesick puppy? You were sick, Jamie. You were sick. Hi. Hi? He's just looking at me funny. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Jamie? Oh, what? Care to dance? Why not? I love this song. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. So what are you studying? Nothing important. How about you? What did you study back in the dark ages? History. Really? What kind of history? Something about Middle Eastern history always fascinated me. You know, I used to be the same way. Everyone has their own opinion about what goes on there, but it's so ancient. But you can never truly understand anything unless you know where it came from. I know what you mean. Things move so fast nowadays. I know, right? Nobody else gets it. And you do? I thought I did, once. Maybe we can talk more about it sometime? I'd like that. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. So, what do you do when you're not lighting up the dance floor? Nothing much. How about you? This usually isn't my scene. You'd find me at home with a book most nights. Really? I used to read all the time. Not anymore? Nah. So what do you like to read? Robert Ashbless was always a favorite of mine. Really? I used to read him all the time. Which is your favorite? Anubis at the Gate was always a favorite. Oh yeah, if you want to go with a popular one. You don't like it? Oh, sure, it's great, but that's the first one people always pick. You wrote other stuff, you know. Like what? Oh, dark drawings and drawing a laugh. If you liked Anubis, you'd like those too. Really? I'd have to look him up sometime. I've got a bunch in storage somewhere. Maybe I could let you borrow one sometime? I'd like that. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. Where are you from? Uh, nowhere special. Where are you from? Out west. Really? Whereabouts? Illinois. No way! So am I! Where in Illinois? Mattoon. No way. I grew up 20 minutes from there. Really? Really? Mattoon. That's even a smaller town than mine. Yeah, well, that's why I left. I know the feeling. Although, I miss it in a way. We should talk about the old place sometime. I'd like that very much. How? How about right now? Huh? Not sometime. Right now. God, I hate this place. Why do I come here every night? To have fun? I just feel more miserable. Let's get out of here. Sounds good to me, gorgeous. Where to? We can go anywhere. 
Well, my dorm isn't far. Your dorm? Yes. The John Jay Dormitory, room 402. Uh, well, I, uh... Ah. I get the feeling we're going to be good for each other. This just got a lot more interesting. There. I want that to be my last memory of this place. Let's go. I'll be back in my dorm. Don't keep me waiting long, okay? you do to that girl? I haven't done it yet. Are you sure she's even legal? Legal? She's dead. This is disgusting. Are you seriously going in there to... I mean, can you even, you know? I don't know. It's never come up before. That's disgusting. Look, believe it or not, I do have a small modicum of class. I'll do what I gotta do. No more, and no less. If you say so, Joey. But don't think I won't go in there. I won't want to, but I will. God, no. Not from out here, I don't. You came. I told you I would. It's so cold in here. I don't think I've ever been so cold. Look at me, I'm freezing. Come warm me up. Of course, darling, if you're absolutely sure. Of course I'm sure. I've never been so sure of anything. I feel so good when I'm around you. I don't want that feeling to go away. I feel like myself again. Does that make any sense? It's like I remember who I'm supposed to be, not what Gavin told me to be. Gavin? He's full of crap. I was just a bit lost, and he took advantage. Just what did he do? Look at you, so chivalrous. He... he told me I was dying, that I was wasting my life. Maybe he was right. Nose in a book or a computer, that was me. He said I had to stop studying and start living, have a full life, have fun. But after meeting you, I remember. My life wasn't so bad, was it? Only you can judge that. I had my family, I had a few friends, I liked my classes, I even had a sort of boyfriend. Things were good. Why didn't I see that? I didn't have to be so miserable. Stupid, huh? You're far from home. It messes with your head. People get confused. It happens. Sure, that's obvious now, isn't it? It's like I couldn't think straight. Even right up until the end, I... The end of what? Please, darling. The end of what? It's so cold in here. Are you okay? Am I okay? I'm dead. How can I be okay? Is this really happening? It's already happened. I died. In the club. I died. I remember it perfectly. It was like being ripped apart. I know. It happened to me once too. But it's over now? Yes, dear. It's over. So what now? Red, I know you're listening. That's your cue. Jamie? Yeah. It's just so much to take in. I know. So what now? Just float into the light and I'm gone? I don't know what happens after, but yes. Just head toward the light. So this is it? I'm really dead. Gavin told me to live life to the fullest. Ironic, huh? I don't know. I'm sorry. If I had only taken a minute to think about what I was doing... But it's too late for that, isn't it? Yes. Gavin. He's going to do this to someone else. I know it. I feel it. He's already done it. Countless times. Do you know where we can find him? We'd meet on campus. I don't know where he lives. Funny. Didn't seem suspicious at the time. It's fading. Everything is just... fading. We'll get to him. We'll stop him. It's what we do. Promise? 
it's time to go, Jamie. I know. Tell Joey I said bye. Sure. And if he needs a cold shower or anything, um, tell him I'm sorry. Ew. You got her off okay? Yeah, she's gone. Good. Something wrong? No. I just want to meet this Gavin guy so I can sock him in the jaw. Joey? Who has this kind of power anyway? He brainwashed that poor kid! And that sob story Tiffany! Don't get me wrong, I've seen some pretty out there stuff, but this? Well, it just rubs me the wrong way. I think we should talk to Lisa again. Her? She keeps more clam than a seafood buffet. But sure, why not? Hi, Lisa? Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? I learned something about Jamie Graham. She's dead too. Lisa, do you know something about this? I don't know anything. Like I said, I just suspect. Don't come back unless you know more. I've learned something about Gavin and Jamie. You have? Can I come in? I'll tell you all about it. And she spent all her time at that club, until she died there. Her body was found in a dumpster a few streets away. Poor girl. Jamie was such a quiet, shy thing when she came in here. She put herself under so much pressure. She spent her whole life doing what was expected of her, but she couldn't decide what was right for her. The girl was paralyzed. Coming to this city with all its possibility, it made her question the point of everything. And you gave her answers? She was so determined to fail, I couldn't help her. So you sent her to Gavin? Yes, I did. Her, and the other one, and others. How many others? I never saw them again. I never knew what happened to them. I could tell myself I wasn't doing any harm, but now that I know for sure... Why did you do it, Lisa? Was it money? Did Gavin pay you? No, it's part of the deal. If you want to operate a shop like mine, you need to make an arrangement with someone like Gavin. So it's a racket. Does that mean there are others like you? They are all like me. If you refuse, you don't last very long. I've got to leave town. This is getting too big. Not before you tell me where to find Gavin. You really want to do this? Even if you succeed, there are others like him. I can handle myself. You don't look like much. You could say that I've got backup. I can't go to the police. There's nobody else but me. My grandfather died today. Yes. He's the only family I had left. I have nothing holding me here. I'm sorry. Spare me. I'll arrange a meeting with Gavin, but give me a few days. I need to leave the city. I don't want to be here when this goes down. Your grandfather would be so proud. Don't judge me here. I'm not brave. I'm just living. That's all any of us are doing. Just living. This is what she calls living. She's helping us, Joey. Helping herself, more like. Don't forget, that lady's a scam artist. I haven't forgotten. She scammed three people that we know of. She tried to scam you. But she didn't, did she? Damn it, Danny, how could you let this happen? Joey. All that we went through just so she could exist. Joey. What? Ah. Uh. Talking to yourself on the street? You should know better, really. Of course, in this city, who would care? Who the hell are you? You probably are wondering who I am, but I have a feeling you already know. No, I have no idea who you are. You honestly don't know? My name is Gavin. They said you were smart, but maybe they were wrong. How do you know who I am? You haven't exactly been keeping a low profile, have you? The truth is, we've known there was another one of you at work for some time now. We just didn't know who you were. It's been quite a race to see who would find you first. Someone would have found you eventually, but since you put yourself on my radar, I decided to come to you. Well, I'm here. What do you want with me? We are all fascinated by you. A channel between this world and the next. The potential is just waiting to be tapped. You're a commodity, one I plan on using. 
I don't know who your colleagues are, but you're the one that needs to be stopped. Then I suppose this works out in my favor. So you'd kill me? Like those girls? Like Jeremy? I fed on those girls. Fed? They had all the potential in the world to be happy, but no. They wasted it. Squandered it. So I channeled all that positive energy out of them and took it into myself. If they weren't using it, why shouldn't I? There are people who go out of their way to sabotage their own happiness. I merely help them. That's... sick. It's kept me alive for two centuries, which is more than I can say for you. Hey. Red? Red, talk to me! Spirit Guide, are you there? You're damn right I'm here! She's not dead, it's just a tranquilizer. I need her alive. You don't know how lucky you are. It's a shame we can't get to know each other further. Lisa, I have a package for you. Ugh. Hey, take it easy. Ugh, I can't move. What happened? You got hit with a knockout drug. You're tied up. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Somehow. <laughs>